Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about a very unusual system with a very unusual planet that holds a record for being the most dense planet we've discovered in our universe. Welcome to What The Mad. And so welcome to the system known as PSR J1719-1438. There is no better name for this system, but there should be. This particular object right here in the middle, as you'll see in a second, is no other but a pulsar. This is a neutron star, a very very small object, diameter of about 34 kilometers, extremely dense, extremely powerful, releasing some of the more powerful uh, pulsating waves toward our own solar system. This object, just like every other neutron star, possesses a very, very, very unusual properties, but this is not why we're here, even though we are going to take a look at it, just for fun. As you can see, it also has a very beautiful accretion disk as well. Now, I slow down time quite dramatically, and we're going to disable the light here, and look at that. This is the neutron star and its glory. As neutron stars go, they have a tendency to destroy things that are close to them. As most neutron stars go, uh, they also have a tendency to destroy all the planets in the solar system or in the star system where they actually go supernova. But not this time. This time one survived. We don't really exactly know how and what really happened, but relatively close to this object, as a matter of fact, only within a few thousand kilometers of it, lays another object that I'm about to show you as soon as we move away from here. And that object is, is right here. There it is. There's that object. It orbits around this neutron star. And as you can see, it orbits relatively close and relatively fast. All right, well, this is obviously not real time. Here's real time. This object is actually so close to the star that if this was our own solar system, you would be actually inside the sun. And this object is actually, hypothetically speaking, or at least theoretically speaking, is not a regular planet. It's what we would call a carbon planet. It's a planet that is more or less made out of carbon and has density even higher than the density of diamonds. Now, this is actually what it looks like in Space Engine. However, here it's displayed as a Mega Neptune, a hot Mega Neptune. It's an object that's heated up by the uh, neutron star to the point where it becomes a temperature of about 200 degrees Celsius. Although in real life we're not sure if this is what is happening here. What we are sure about is its shape. Its shape is going to be, as you can see, very unusual. It's kind of oblong and it's kind of stretched and that's because it's experiencing tremendously powerful tidal effects from the neutron star that it orbits. And so it would be very, very difficult to actually survive on this planet. On top of the fact that the actual gravitational um, acceleration on the surface of this planet is at least the double of that on Earth. Now, because this neutron star or this pulsar is known as a millisecond pulsar, in other words, it actually spins really, really, really fast. We think it, it acquired that spinning energy from swallowing some of the matter from, uh, from the star system. And it's very likely, or it's very possible, that it actually swallowed some of the stuff from this planet. And by swallowing some of the material from this planet, it probably acquired its current um, spinning uh, velocity. And when we measured this particular pulsar, we discovered that this beautiful planet seems to have a mass very similar to that of Jupiter. So as a matter of fact, it's possibly even a little bit more massive than Jupiter. Here it's listed as 120% um, more massive than Jupiter, but its diameter is only about 40% of Jupiter. So it's very, very dense. And it orbits the pulsar in approximately two hours. So one orbit here is about two hours long. So that's really fast. So we think this used to be a star, a very massive star that basically had its layers eaten away by the neutron star that then started to spin faster because it now had a lot of energy uh, from the surface of this uh, previous star-like object. In other words, this used to be a binary star system where one of the objects became a planet. Its layers were eaten away and it became a remnant of a star, a very dense carbon planet. 
very similar in mass to Jupiter. The actual density here is approximately 23 grams per cubic centimeter, which is close to about five times the density of that on Earth. Now let's actually go and see the surface of this object, but um, there is actually other ideas about what this might be. So some scientists think that this might be actually an ultra low mass carbon oxygen white dwarf. Basically what our sun will become, but much, 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 much less massive than obviously our sun will be when it uh, goes through its final stages. And the surface here is obviously more or less gas giant like. Although it's possible that this is actually a very, very hot white dwarf like surface as well. Now here uh, we don't really see the neutron star that well anymore, but obviously we can actually go into the higher atmosphere and you'll finally get to experience the neutron star as well. But anyway, what's really cool about this object is that uh, when we just found it, it was actually reported in press as the diamond planet because we think that its composition might be actually that of a very, very giant, very dense diamond-like object that was also very unusual in shape. So in a sense, this could actually potentially be one of the largest diamonds out there as well, but at the same time, it's not really the same type of diamond that you would find here on Earth. Yet at the same time, a more unusual hypothesis suggests that this is not even a typical matter. Because we've only observed um, the effects of something massive on this beautiful neutron star, some scientists suggested that this is actually some sort of a subatomic particle object. But specifically, they even called this um, a kind of a quark matter lump, or basically a kind of a kilometer long um, quark planet. So they kind of suggest that this might look something like this. It's just as massive as you see here, but its radius is yay big. It is ridiculously tiny, meaning that this is not actually potentially useless. Meaning that that's meaning that some scientists believe that this object right here is a more of an exotic object with some extremely unusual properties. Now, obviously there is no way for us to know exactly if this is true or not, and if this is even real, but for all we know, this might actually be some sort of a quark planet or quark lump or whatever you want to call it. For now though, we're going to assume that this is actually a carbon planet just as we thought before, and we might even finally decide to give it a better name, because I think it deserves one. This is actually a pretty awesome looking object, and is probably going to explain some of the more unusual properties of different objects out there in the universe, and most importantly, teach us a little bit more about neutron stars. What exactly this is, we're still going to take a few years to learn about, but for now, that's all we know about this unusual object known as PSR J1719-14b, found back in 2011. Anyway, whether this is a carbon star or not, we'll discover in the future. For now, we're going to assume it's just something really, really, really awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and enjoy this beautiful creation of a quark planet. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.